Hello everyone. Well, it's another pure power. Slightly different because this is German, although I assume it was made in Cambuslang, Scotland and shipped over to Germany for the German market. I'm assuming it will have a German plug on it. I don't know what colour it is. I think it could be green. This cropped up on uh, eBay. Just a picture of the box. Um, I knew it's model U U3330. Um, I knew it was not a Chinese pure power, down to this, you know, the design of the box. I'm assuming it's a 90s pure power. And they were better, certainly, than the Enigma. It's still battling along the pure power design under the Enigma name now. I think it's a 350 watt. I will get one of those at some point just to see. Because I think when I looked at Hoover's website recently, there were no bagged upright vacuum cleaners showing. Let's see if this has survived. Now I've got this mainly to use as a parts machine, hoping it survived the journey. And judging by where they've put the handle, might not have. Right, it is green. It's the green I thought it would be. So it's a model we got. It's I think it's just basically quite a bog standard. Ooh, the roundel's a little bit skew if. Right, so we've got dusting brush. This is this is certainly not packed as it would have been from the factory. It is obviously it's new. So we've got the earlier style hand grip for the hose. Uh, the quality of these, although fairly poor compared to Hoover's offerings from the, you know, from the 50s, 60s and 70s, but still better than the Chinese version. We've got another nozzle, sort of the stair cleaning tool with very soft brushes. You'd think they'd make those stiffer, wouldn't you really, to agitate the stair carpet. Um, Yes, I think that's it. There should be a scabbard tool. Well, it's got... Oh, sorry about that blip. Just had a coughing fit. We're still in lockdown at the time of making this video. The coughing fit is down to the fact that the video I've just made before this one, I put down quite a lot of dirt and it was quite fine dust. And it's finally got into the air and... Phew. So anyway. Yes, here's the mains cable, and as I thought, it's got the German plug on it, which I can leave on. But as I said, this cleaner might be used as a donor. I'd rather have the other one working, because I can't get the proper parts for the AutoSense one that was quite broken. So I thought the next best thing would be this when I saw it, and this would cost me less than all the parts um, I would have had to buy. But as you can see, look, two pin round I'm pretty sure this was from a seller in Germany it took a while to get here but then things are taking a lot longer in the current climate right we've got instructions in a sealed packet we've got English instructions as well English French German Italian and Dutch so quite a thick uh, instruction book here Printed in UK this, so yes, I'm, I'm right in thinking that this was made in Cambuslang, Scotland. Uh, there we are. So we've got that and we've got a spare dust bag. High filtration dust bag. There, with the unbleached paper. Right, let's, fingers crossed, it's not broken. I can still see the polystyrene. <clears throat> right, so far so good. I'll give this a bit of a polish up. Put the handle on. Well, here it is after assembling the handle and popping the hose on. A little bit of a polish. I think now seeing it as it is, it's too good to use as a donor machine. It's absolutely perfect. As long, of course, as it works, I can see obviously no reason why it shouldn't. 
I just need to use an adapter for the plug. There's no voltage issues with a, a cleaner that's imported from Germany because they use the same voltage as the UK more or less. So it's just a case of using an adapter on the plug. But yes, all in all, very happy. Now this, when this was in the shops, it wasn't a budget cleaner by any means. Although I think this one is probably the bottom of the range and would have retailed around about, I think, £130. I seem to remember seeing them in the Argos catalogue, £129, £99, something like that. So back then, that was quite expensive, considering now you can get the Enigma for around £60 if you look, look around on the internet. But the difference, although they look the same shape, the difference between this Pure Power and the Enigma, the 350 watt Enigma, you can buy now is just chalk and cheese. This, although compared to a lot of Hoovers, isn't the finest quality. It's certainly way up there compared to the Chinese Hoovers we're lumbered with at the moment. So I'm just going to discover what sort of agitator this has got and also what sort of filter. I'm assuming it'll just have the basic bog standard filter. The machines further up the range would have had sort of HEPA or S-class filtration. And of course we had AutoSense and Permabag versions of this Pure Power. So I'll turn the machine over and we'll have a look at the brush roll first. Okay, well looking at the brush roll of this cleaner makes me think it's not one of the earlier models and it's not one of the later production run. I'm pretty sure the earlier models, and I've had plenty, would have had, instead of, you can see on the side here we've got fixed side brushes. The earlier versions of the Pure Power actually had spinning side brushes which were a little bit more efficient uh, but this one is fixed. It's still got the agitator or activator brush roll should I say first shown on the original Turbo Power but later versions of this they did away with the beta pads and it was just a spiral brush with fixed brushes. Um, and again, I think the Enigma one, I don't think he even has side brushes now, the model you can buy now. But as I said, at some point, just for the sake of completeness, I will get the later Enigma. I've shown an earlier Enigma on my channel. Did quite well, but that was the higher wattage one. And as I was doing this, I could feel a slippage in the brush. So it's going to need a new belt, I think, but we'll see how it copes. Quick look at the old serial number, which is located just here so it's Hoover model U3330011 the serial number is 376505539930806 and it's a 1050 to 1150 watt PC or Pmax 1200 to 1300 watt made in EC which, as I said, will be Canvas Lang Scotland, I think, for this model. The exhaust filter for this cleaner is located on the back here behind this panel, which we can release with a little button. And they're normally washable. I expect it's quite stuck. Yes, they normally are quite stuck. Yeah, I can see Ooh. the seal was coming away because it's stuck to the yeah, it's quite sticky, but as I suspected, it's the bog standard thin filter. You can upgrade these to the HEPA filter if you want to. You can still buy parts because obviously most of the parts that fit the Enigma will be compatible. And uh, if you can get hold of one of these, you could use one of these today. I mean, I would recommend one of the UK made ones, not uh, obviously not the newer ones. I don't think they're up to much nowadays but uh, there are not many bagged vacuum cleaners, bagged upright cleaners you can buy in the UK. There's a little bit of dust in here, but I've, I'm not worried that it's being used. You normally find sort of storage dust. Let's just grab this dirty old rag and wipe that out. So there's the exhaust filter, which, why is that not going back in? Hang on, there we go. And on the back here, we've got a little section where you can put the oblong air freshener Hoover produced, which was the most disgusting smell. I, I didn't use it. First introduced on the Turbo Power 2 that fitted over the exhaust uh, filter. 
or just in that grill portion where the exhaust filter is on Turbo Power 2. I never like the smell of that. Um, we've got a date wheel, let's have a look just here. Uh, 97, this part anyway was made in December, no, November. November 97, so yes, it is a 90s Hoover. So still, still okay. It's when, I'm not sure if Candy owned them at this stage in 97. This would have been after the free flights fiasco, of course. Here's the famous weak point of Pure Powers, but surprisingly on the earlier models, it's not so bad. On the later models, it was very hard to push. In fact, you needed shoes on to push these down without hurting your feet. But on the earlier ones, like this one, it's certainly an improvement. I think there's a metal part in here. On the later ones, it was just one single plastic piece, but I think that is certainly still fairly stiff to push down but yeah they really it was always a weak point on these cleaners they've improved it actually with the vortex the bagless version of the pure power I've got one of those if you want to check back on my channel they improved it by making it bigger and um, it was a lot easier to press but anyway it is what it is the onboard tools are pretty decent on the pure power I'll just take the cable off and we can have a look at them so you've got a stretch hose and again on this era certainly a good quality it should reach up a standard flight of stairs with no problem and you can see we've got the small tools on board now the dusting brush and the all-purpose nozzle and on the side we've got a single plastic wand and on the other side We've got the scabbard crevice tool, very long crevice tool that. And you can put, if you want to reach up high, for high level dusting, you can put the nozzles onto the end of the scabbard tool. And then of course, you can pop the wand as well. So you've got some extra reach. But naturally, the tools will go onto the end of the wand and they'll also fit directly onto the handle of the hose. And they always fit very securely. They don't fall off on these models. They're just nice, secure fit and should stay there. Apologies if you can hear cars going by. At the time of making this video, we we're in lockdown, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know from my neighbours because they're coming and going just the same as they always have. Never mind. Here's the, uh, obviously, the hose end. You just un hook the hose there is a little hook here that's attached if pull it out that secures it in place but that also fits onto a hook here at the bottom and this is a stabilizing feature so you just hook the hose under there so when you're using the hose if you're doing your upholstery etc it means that the cleaner will pull along without tipping over but when you're cleaning your stairs you always take that off which will give you extra reach and when you're cleaning the stairs you'd always put the machine at the bottom like this with the stair riser the first stair riser up against the back here so it would stay secure when you're cleaning your full flight of stairs which yes I'm pretty sure this is more than a double stretch hose it's like a quadruple or even more you can see how far just the little section there stretches so much better quality hose and of course it swivels on one end not on the other this is the end it goes into the cleaner and it just it fits with a, a two lug fitting and you can remove that if you need to check for any blockages easy to put back I believe this particular model was, um, I don't know if it was a best buy in which, but it was certainly, I think which called it worth thinking about. I think it was uh, fairly well recommended. One thing that this has as well that they did away with in the later models is the little rubber seal just round here where you put the hose handle in. So it seals in the suction. Later models they did away with that just to make them even cheaper. There's a quick release hook here at the top to release the cable in one go. And the lower hook here also serves as the carry handle. I wonder what German consumers thought about having the Royal Warrant printed on this vacuum. 
By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleaners and laundry equipment, Hoover Limited, Mertha Tidfill. And just below the Queen's stamp of approval, we've got the familiar rocker switch and something that was done away with quite a long time ago is this neon bag check indicator. Just under the bag check indicator, we've got this button here to release the bag door. And here it says sealed suction system, seven stage filtration. Hoover Pure Power, 1300 watts. And under here actually embossed into the bag door, it says the Hoover Cleaner. And printed at the bottom of the bag door, we've got the brand Hoover. So here's the familiar cleaner head, obviously familiar if you've been watching my channel for a while because I've shown you quite a lot of variants of pure power. We've got the height control, which is a little bit stiff there, but uh, that's okay now. So we've got uh, from the low pile, sort of medium, higher pile and hard floor setting, and then sort of your shag pile. And when you're using your cleaning tools, for my carpet, I'm going to try it first, I think, not quite on the high. I'll put it on that setting, but uh, yes, it might need a new belt. Finally, before I switch the cleaner on, we'll have a look at the bag compartment. I wonder what sort of bag holder it's got because that changed over the years. So here's the bag door and it says Hoover Design Right. We've got another date wheel and that's pointing to 1996. June 96, but of course we saw a date wheel from 97, so I think this is from 97. This part though was manufactured in 96. Let's see how this bag fits. Ah, it's the more deluxe bag holder. It's actually, I'll try and remove it without closing, because this one worked by sealing the bag when you pulled it. Oh, well, that didn't work this time. So in theory, when you remove the bag, it should. Hmm. Well, I don't think it does on this one, but it used to actually seal the end of the bag when you pulled it out of the cleaner. This is the earlier style of bag collar retainer. I'm not sure if there was an even earlier one than that. I can't recall. But certainly later models, even the Scottish made ones, they did away with this part and it was just a question of pushing the bag directly onto this part and it sort of held in place somehow. So again, this machine would have been cheapened through the years. It ran quite a number of years. Well, actually, as I said, it's still running in this shape. It could end up to be one of the longest running designs for Hoover UK. So let's pop that back in, then just push it forward and then the top of the bag collar sort of clips in, holds it in place. You can use the fleece bags in this, which I do recommend. In fact, I'll get one before I use this. I'll keep this bag. So I'll just take this bag out again, actually, and keep this one. I'll just unhook it, there we go. And at the bottom, we've got the pre-motor filter. I think it's just one. Let's have a look. Some models would have had a dual layer filter. Oh no, this does. It still has two. So you can wash that. And then underneath, I think this would be classed as the charcoal filter to help reduce odors. So that fits in there. And we've got another date wheel. It's date wheel galore. I can see one there. I'll just have to get a bit closer to see the date on that. Well, I can now see another date wheel pointing to 1998. So this machine has to be at least from 1998. Well, that time has come to plug in and switch on. I'm not uh, fearful of this one. I'm going to uh, switch it on at the cleaner. It's clearly unused. I've got, uh, well, it's not a very good adapter. I think this came with a, uh, a Vorwerk, a second-hand one. It's not very good, but it'll do just for the purpose of this video. It does fit. It's a pretty poor quality one. I've got a much better adapter that actually screws on, which will convert it into a three pin plug, sort of semi-permanent, but it will still leave the original German plug for, you know, to keep it authentic. Right, it is off at the cleaner. 
plug in, switch on there. Right. And one thing I can do, which I've never done with the pure power, is test the suction using my suction gauge. Now, as I said, I think the belt will need replacing, so I'm not expecting much of a grooming action. Right, here goes. Well, that seemed to work pretty well. I don't think it needs a new belt. Um, it seemed to be rotating fine. So yes, I think the belt's okay on this cleaner. It certainly sounds nice compared to the modern Pure Power as well, especially compared to the over 2000 watt I think it was 2100 watt I did a silver color Chinese made silver and red that's on my channel that was a while ago I did that video that was certainly an unpleasant sounding vacuum but this one sounds a lot better I mean as I said they look the same but chalk and cheese okay well for the very first time we're gonna have a look at the suction so this is a maximum 1300 watt and I don't think the these pure powers have a suction relief valve I'll find out let's just turn it on and block the end of the hose <laughs> no there's no suction relief valve um, later models especially the the screaming 2000 plus watt ones had a valve on the back here that would open up when the suction was reduced if the suction the airflow was blocked for any reason if you'd blocked the cleaner or you used it with a full bag but this one certainly doesn't have any sort of suction relief i couldn't hear anything kicking in so we should get the full measurement on my little gauge so this will be interesting um hmm, what, what what do you think it's certainly going to be over 40 i would say maybe even up to 50 or 60 who knows let's give it a go wow well that was about 72 which for an upright vacuum that's pretty good really very impressive no wonder they called them pure power so i would i'll go out on a limb and say that this is probably one of the highest suction uprights hoover produced certainly with the hose hoover always produced very good dirty fan cleaners that were exceptional at cleaning carpets but when it came to using the cleaning tools they certainly fell short of some of the competition notably electrolux with their 500 series they were certainly had more power when using the tools and they were certainly more convenient until of course onboard tools became the norm before onboard tools certainly the Electrox 500 series the way you plugged the hose in at the bottom was easier than Hoover's offering which often involved using the converter the pan converter that fitted over the bottom of the cleaner head of course we had the Hoover Dilematic and Hoover convertible as it was known in the UK that had a plug-in hose similar to Electrolux but that was quite a big heavy machine and didn't really sell well compared to the other Hoovers at that time but all in all yes it's another pure power yes and some of you might have not even watched the video when you saw what it was seen that done that bought the t-shirt but it's nice to have Hoover was still okay at the stage this machine was being manufactured let me just lean over and unplug but yes absolutely please as punch with this particular one it's arrived in one piece from germany i didn't have high hopes to be honest but yeah very pleased 
with this machine and yes this is going to remain as it is in fact I might use this more I've got several of this era a couple of yellow ones um, a red one I think quite a few so I've got a soft spot really for hoovers certainly the Scottish made ones until everything went pear shaped of course the free flights fiasco didn't help if you don't know about that just type it in type in hoover free flights fiasco and google it and you'll see what happened to the hoover company over that in fact at some point i've got loads of footage from our consumer show watchdog i recorded everything that they showed because it was quite a big story it ran on for weeks Hoover offered two free flights to Europe and America if you bought a Hoover product and they didn't come, you know. They didn't give many people, well, most people didn't get what they uh, should have got. But anyway, that was sadly started the end of Hoover in the UK as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, that's the Hoover Pure Power, my German one. But obviously it's exactly the same as the UK version. The only difference is the fitted German plug. If you've got a pure power, comment below if you love it or loathe it. And if you're sad enough, well, not sad enough, that's not the right word, unfortunate enough to have one of the um, <laughs> Chinese ones, well, you might like it. I mean, you know, the earlier Chinese ones were, weren't as bad, to be honest. The later, you know, I've got um, a white and red one, which was probably the last one called pure power. And that wasn't that bad. It did perform. I did a video of it and it performed pretty well. I was fairly impressed with it. But they've got worse and worse as the years have gone by. And as I said, I have a feeling now that Hoover have discontinued. They only bagged upright. Anyway, I've uh, prattled on for long enough. You've probably all died of boredom by now. But anyway, thanks for watching if you've stayed this long. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.